Today, I'd like to explain the role that insurance has uh, for a particular business. Many of my clients ask me, you know, Steve, what kind of insurance do I actually need for my particular business? And while all the insurance makes a compelling case to go ahead and, and get them, I always remind my clients, what is insurance? And I try to get them to get to the understanding that insurance is essentially the um, uh, it's the protection against what we're going to call catastrophic loss from uh, from something happening, and so when I when we sit there and we talk about insurance, I often tell them that my personal experiences in many cases that having insurance in, in fact can actually create gravity for lawsuits that having no insurance might avoid. I'd like to explain it with a with a situation that occurred to me. In in a case I was a, a treasurer for a nonprofit. Uh, we had a, an employee who was a very good employee for about a decade. Uh, that employee ran uh, into some hard times financially and was out with one of our clients uh, and took them through an ATM machine went ahead and put the, the client's ATM card into the ATM machine so the client could get some money, but instead took out $100, put $80 in her pocket, and I gave the $20 to our client. Well, as soon as we found out about that, it's obviously a fireable offense. I can't have an employee who steals from our clients. And so as a result of that, we needed to go ahead effectively and get, you know, to fire her. But she had been such a loyal employee for so many years, we made the agreement that what we would do is we would just let her off uh, as opposed to fire her for cause. Uh, in this way, she may be able to collect some unemployment for a while and she can find another job. The only stipulation I made was the fact that please don't use me as a reference because if somebody calls me, I will tell them the reason for this. Well, everything was fine for about three months or so uh, and then uh, the business was served uh, with a wrongful termination lawsuit. Um, and in that particular situation, I brought it to our insurance company's attention and they said, oh, we see this quite often. We'll go ahead and we'll do a settlement and we'll pay her $20,000. Now, at that point, I was pretty incensed. I said, listen, I don't think we should re reward bad behavior. And as a result of that, you should not pay her. Uh, and my insurance company put it very bluntly to me. They said, Steve, we appreciate the fact that, that your nonprofit pays us you know, a fee every month for an insurance premiums. But quite frankly, we don't really work for you. We work for our shareholders. And quite frankly, if we took this to court, it would cost us roughly $30,000 to bring it to court. And we're 100% convinced that we would, in fact, win that particular case. But he says, we already know the story about this woman. She didn't have enough money to pay rent. That's why she ended up having to steal it. So we would never, ever be able to get that 30000 from her. And my, you know, the people that I serve, my shareholders would rather lose $20,000 than $30,000. Now, quite frankly, the plaintiff in this particular case, the old employee, their lawyer knew how insurance companies work. And as a result of that, he filed this lawsuit. He knew that if we didn't have insurance, for example, we would not pay that and we would take it to court just on a matter of principle. But the insurance companies are not about principle. They're effectively about mitigating the risk that they have or the losses that they have. And in this particular case, they would have rather paid out $20,000. So if if we didn't have insurance, that lawsuit probably never would have come about. But the fact that we did have insurance basically intended that the person was going to go, the plaintiff's lawyer would go ahead and sue us because they knew darn well that the insurance company would settle out of court. Now, I would encourage you, as you think about that, if you ever watch these commercials on television for all these lawyers uh, that are out there, they might say, have you been hit by a tractor trailer truck? Now, the reason they say that is because they know that if you're driving a tractor trailer out there, you've got insurance. They don't say, hey, were you hit by an uninsured motorist? Sure, come to, come to our law firm. We'll love to take that to court. Now, the difference is, quite frankly, most of those cases are, are what we call a contingent basis. In other words, the, um, they, 
upon the settlement, the law firm will get a share of that, but there's no upfront money that the plaintiff has to put out there. Now, if it was a case that was probably going to go to court, in many cases, that lawyer would take it on a retainer basis and say, why don't you deposit $10,000 into my account to start with, and we'll begin the proceedings to make that go to court. In most cases, those plaintiffs do not have that money, and as a result of that, those cases would probably never even come to fruition. So I always tell people, insurance is good, I understand it, all those insurance make sense, but quite frankly, especially if you're in the early stages of a business, be aware, because insurance may not be your friend, it might be gravity for a lawsuit. If you like this kind of content, there's plenty more on Steve Bizblog. Check us out.